This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Oh my goodness, you guys. It has been a minute. <laughs> All right, you guys, what's going on, man? Welcome back to yet another King Japes episode. Now, I don't remember the last time I did a talking head video. It could have been a couple of months ago. With that said, next week, I am headed out to New York with my friend and brother, fellow photographer Gable Kimbro, and uh, we're gonna be shooting a lot. We're gonna be doing a ton of street photography, we're gonna do some interviews. And so I kind of wanted to make a video today to talk about my new daily camera, the setup that I am gonna be bringing to New York, and talk a little bit more about some of the gear that I'll be packing as like my everyday carry while I am out there. And if you guys are in New York and you wanna shoot, hit me up over on Instagram, and hopefully you guys can catch me out on the streets, maybe we can link up and shoot. But without further ado, let's start off with my new daily camera. Okay, so it's new in a way because it's pretty much the exact same setup that I've been using not only for Chicago, but just for the streets in San Francisco. And it is this camera right here. So this is my Leica M6. Uh, I got this a couple of months ago and on the very front of it is the Voigtlander 28 millimeter Ultron. Now here's the thing about this setup, you guys. I've shot maybe 40 to 50 rolls already through this camera and it is such a flawless experience. And oh my goodness, you guys, it is so smooth. It is very reliable. And it's a camera that almost makes you wanna just get out of bed and shoot every day. I mean, there's no real frills to it. It's pretty simple. You got a shutter speed dial at the top, your shutter button, and a viewfinder. And that's pretty much it, you guys. And uh, just listen to that shutter sound, you guys super super quiet now the 28 millimeter voigtlander this is a funny story I, I had my original one that i shot with in chicago but i was telling juan from beers and cameras there was something off about it and what ended up happening was i was trying to take off this lens hood and for some reason the entire lens barrel came off and so I have that one stored off to the side. I'm gonna to try to get it repaired after New York, but I had to order a second one. So this is a new fresh copy. I literally just got it in, but it's super smooth. And the 28 millimeter focal length is something I'm slowly, slowly uh, getting a lot more used to. I don't know if you guys remember the 35 millimeter was my favorite focal length in the past, but recently I've tried to shoot more 28 and honestly it's a bit uncomfortable for me because I do have to get closer you can't get better without pushing yourself out of your comfort zone and so it's something that i'm learning with i am not the best at it whatsoever but i do think later on as i progress hopefully through new york uh, i can get a little bit more comfortable with this focal length in terms of other accessories for the m6 i am going to be taking along with me my peak design sling strap i believe is what it's called or it might be called the leash uh, this is a very soft strap right here and you can adjust it to however long you want it to be. Of course, this has that really clean Peak Design anchor that everyone loves and enjoys, slides on, and locks into place. And hopefully you guys could tell I am going for that all black aesthetic with my camera. That is kind of my daily camera. It's what I've been shooting now probably for the last three to four months religiously. Yeah, I'm really excited to put more rolls through this. This has been the biggest year uh, in terms of film. This is the most film I've shot pretty much out of any other year that I've ever had, so. Very, very exciting. Now I am bringing a couple of other things and I wanna talk about kind of my everyday carry pack, which is this one right here. I'm gonna break it down and talk about some of the film that I'm gonna be shooting in New York. Before we talk about any of that, I wanna give a huge thank you and shout out to our sponsor for this episode, the good folks over at Squarespace. Squarespace is your all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. Now, as a photographer in 2023, one of the best ways to get yourself up and running is to have your own dedicated website. Squarespace makes it super simple. They have award-winning templates you can use to get started within minutes to set up a portfolio, an e-commerce shop, and one of my newest favorite features, the videos page, where you can upload direct content from your computer to your website so people can see some behind the scenes action to your content. If you guys want to get started today, head over to squarespace.com slash kingjapes and enter promo code kingjapes at checkout, and they're going to hook you up with 10% off of your first purchase of a domain or a website. Huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this episode. Okay, so this is a brand new bag that I got mainly because my buddy Gable, who's gonna be with me on the New York trip, told me to get it. I think this is honestly a biker's bag, but but this is a bag from the company Chrome. And no, this is not sponsored. This is something I personally just bought and it's their messenger bag. And one thing that I really like about it is the size. So I think I'm a pretty wide dude. And so if you wanna use me as a size comparison, you know, it expands across my chest here and uh, Honestly, it looks really good. There's a lot of cool details on this thing, like the zipper right here has like that weather sealed zipper. Uh, you have one in the front, 
and you have one also on the main pocket. The straps itself are super comfortable. It has this nice breathable material and possibly my favorite thing, uh, this belt buckle. So Gable put me on this and uh, <laughs> I think for the same reason that he wanted to get it, it's because of this buckle. Pop it open, lock it into place and you are good to go. Now, one thing I really do like about this is it slings over your back here, over your shoulder and then you have a separate attachment here that you can kind of lock into place to keep everything nice and secure so it almost kind of feels like a small backpack you know it's very techy it feels like a tech wear type of thing and a lot of people have been really complimenting just the overall look so if you guys are wondering in my instagram stories what bag i have been using this is the one right here from chrome geez i look terrible doing this right now so now that we have the bag out of the way, let's talk about some accessories, man. Here's the inside pocket before we move on. Got a nice little pocket here and then that main pocket compartment up top. Okay, accessories. Now I've been oddly, oh, that's not good. So I've been oddly obsessed with listening to John Coltrane, uh, sometimes even like Miles Davis, that kind of like that bebop jazz when I shoot street photography. I think there's a certain rhythm to the entire Blue Train album that gets me in this zone where everything kind of just looks right to me. So I first recognized it when I was shooting in San Francisco and I felt like there was like a flow state going on listening to that album. And ever since then, when I'm out doing work, that is what I listen to. So one thing I am going to bring are these AirPods right here. This is the AirPods Pro and, uh, ooh, but oftentimes you guys, when I'm shooting, I'll throw these in, keep them in, and then I'll just throw on Blue Train in the background and just go to town. Uh, one of my most favorite things to do when I'm out there trying to actually capture. In terms of film, I'm gonna be taking one film stock only. And I'm not talking about like, like one roll of film, I'm talking just literally one film stock. <laughs> I found recently that any time that I try to shoot different films when I'm out there trying to create work, it often gets like this inconsistent look and I just don't want to have to deal with having to remember what films characteristics are and you know how to benefit off of that and play to its strengths. And so to make it simple you guys, I'm just going to be shooting Portra 400 in New York. Uh, I just came back from Chicago like I said, I shot a lot of Ektachrome and I'm going to make a video about that but just as a little sneak peek, Ektachrome is not what I expected. And uh, I shot it in the past, but never in like a true street setting. And I think the photos came out well, but I purely want to stick to portrait this trip. So we got 15 rolls of portrait right here. I think I'm going to bring more, have more cold stored in my fridge right here. The last thing that I'm going to be taking with me to New York is the ever so famous Canon PowerShot SD1000. Now you guys know about this camera, man. I take it everywhere with me. I, I shoot a lot of B-roll with it. If you guys ever seen like the intros to some of my more recent videos, I'll shoot like an old school kind of like, looks like a camcorder quality type of feel. It works great for that, but it also works really great for just doing little fun snapshots in between. So because Gable and I are headed out there for not only work, but to kind of celebrate our birthdays, I figured I'd bring a little point and shoot just to capture those in-between moments, a little bit more personal stuff. And if you guys know this camera it is honestly super, super fun. So that's pretty much all I am taking with me from an everyday carry point of view, the bag, the camera, the film, and of course this camera. But yeah, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know in the comment section down below what other pieces of gear I should bring to New York or if you guys have any other tips. I'm very, very excited for all of the different stuff that's gonna be coming out of that. So definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be rolling out the Chicago videos later this week, but that's going to wrap it up. I'll see you guys in the next one. As always, Minolta Gang.